Jones here with CatsAndCarp.com, and it's the 4th of July, and we're bank fishing for catfish. Oh, by the way, did I mention in celebration of our nation's independence, I'm also going to be giving away a rod and reel combination at the end of this video. So stay tuned for details how you can win and help me celebrate America. Stay tuned. All right, so it's the 4th of July. It's a wonderful summer day and we're gonna be doing some night fishing. But before the sun sets, I wanna show you what we're using and what we're doing so we can take some good video here. Okay, so first off, when you're night fishing, being able to tell what's going on with at the end of your rod is really important. So I've got a couple different products I'm gonna try. Um, some local boys are starting their, a little company. They're making these uh, whisker sticks spelled with an X. And I'll put a link to their Facebook page where they sell these products. These are little LED with a watch battery and a zip tie that you can attach to your uh, line. They're 100% waterproof. I've got a couple of these. Whisker Seeker Tackle makes them. Once again, a little, a little uh, watch battery LED that, that uh, glows and you put these on the tip of your rod and you can see whether or not what's going on out there. Team Catfish also has a great product called the Glow Wraps that are these high quality glow in the dark stickers that you can put on your gear, your bobbers, the end of your rods. I did a review on them, a video review already, and I'll put a link in the description and check those out. Additionally, I like to use bite alarms. I've got these, these are the Delcom TXI Plus bite alarm. They're a carp fishing bite alarm. And they're kind of a high end bite alarm. You can spend as little as $5 and as much as $200 on a bite alarm. And they come with all sorts of bells and whistles, including this uh, wireless receiver, which will tell you whether or not you're getting a bite. And this is what I'm gonna be using because we're gonna have our rods spread out all along the bank. So I'm not gonna be able to see all my rods at one time. And this will let me hear them. And no matter where I am, I'll be able to tell which rod's getting a bite which is really important to not only in telling when you have a fish on, but telling when you need to check your bait. Also, because we're night fishing, we've got some nice pizza here. You've gotta have uh, food when you're night fishing here. And it's the 4th of freaking July. So we've got fireworks, baby. Yeah, we're gonna blow this up like a Kiss concert. And let me show you what I've got as far as gear goes. I've got my 96 inch handle landing net because it's long enough to land from this elevated dock and we've got five rods here i've got um a couple different things i've got the cat buster from uh, bass pro shop with the daiwa regal bri bite and, uh, and run reel I've got cabela's mag touch rod with another daiwa regal bri i've got this 29 dollars rod and reel combo from shakespeare I also have this B&M Silver Cat with the Cast King Kodiak on it. My friend also brought a nice uh, no-name brand uh, reel and rod combo, but it's going to work just fine. And uh, we're going to be fishing mostly bottom rigs. I've got a high and low rig here, two ounce weight, uh, six hot circle hooks. Also fishing a pencil float with a live bluegill underneath it. See if I can't catch a bass or a snakehead or a catfish. And then I've got a basic fish finder rig with four aught circle hooks on the other two rods. And uh, we're gonna be using bluegill, live and cut bluegill as bait. So I've got my little dock demons with some Slim Jims and we're gonna use those to catch bluegill. And who wants to catch bluegills? Me, 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 me. Okay. And I am catching out. Well, you don't have any bait on you, yet, buddy, but don't ever let that stop you. You got one, Pilp? Hold him up, buddy. This makes... I'm See, don't let your dad tell you you need bait. I <laughs> That's a, a fish. beautiful yes. bluegill. Why couldn't we... Look at that. A little bit of Slim Jim skin left on there. That's all but you needed. Clark, that's how you catch a fish with these. Okay. Okay, that took Tommy precisely two seconds. Nice big old bluegill. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, we'll go ahead and use, oh man, that guy's such a nice one. I'm thinking about throwing him back. I might want a little smaller one for bait. So we're gonna, watch out, watch out. You hook Nathan. Oh, you hook Nathan, hold on. There we go. So you can see here, I've got a number 12 Eagle Claw bait hook that I'm using to catch these bluegill. And 
Just a little one inch bobber. It's all you need, no weight, no nothing. Nice little piece of Slim Jim on there. Hey, there's a turtle down there. Okay, but stand up. Okay, oh, see this? Right there. Just hold it still right there. Okay, really, really, pull it up. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, no, no, no turtle attack. Turtle attack. We don't want to hook a turtle. A turtle's trying to bite your bobber. Oh, here. Reel, reel him in. Reel him in. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Yeah, bring him over. Yeah, you did it. Okay, let's see if we can get our hook back. This is where the forceps come in handy. Okay, then you just... Oh, there we go. When you hook this, you want to just barely hook it through the back. It's the tough part. And you want to make sure there's no scales on the tip of the hook. You want lots of hook point exposed. And you want it to be just a bite-sized morsel for a decent catfish. All right, Clark, so this is where you want to put your rod, right? There's a shallow spot over there that gets about a foot or two deeper, right around there. That ledge is a good spot. We want to go relatively close to shore. So, yeah. When you set your rod against the rail, make sure you loosen the drag so that if a fish comes along, it doesn't pull your rod into the water. And when you lean your rod against the rail, leave the last three eyelets only over the rail. If you put a lot of your rod over the rail, it's more likely to get pulled in. So just leave the last three eyelets barely hanging over the rail and then fish with a tight line. You're good to go. Okay. I'm going to put that bell on it. There we go. So I've got a great little green sunfish and I'm hooking them right through the back and I'm gonna fish him live underneath this weighted bit, uh, float. And I'm gonna give him about that much line. About two feet of line under the bobber. Oh, excellent, bring him up, buddy. Woo. Ah, this one's crazy. Oh, excellent, a crazy one. I love the crazy ones. goes off, one of those rods has got a bite. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. See it, see the white one? See the, see how the lights are on the white one? Okay, wait, wait, the fish ain't on, he ain't on. Okay, he's messing with it though. Why don't you pick that rod up slowly? Pick it up slowly and keep the tip down. Oh, he's monkeying with it. All right, go ahead and start reeling on that. Okay, raise the tip up, raise the tip up. You feel a fish on there? He's, yeah, he's on there. Go for it. Come on, reel him in, reel him in. Keep that tip up, keep that tip up. Liking that? Okay, just keep them up. Pull your rod tip up. Okay, get it in there. Nice. All right, just keep keep them down in the water there for me. Nice. Good stuff, man. High fives. Yeah. All right, first one of the night. Okay. Let's take a peek at him. Oh. I think he already unhooked himself. Woo! Hey Clark, is this your first catfish? Uh, yeah. Oh, pretty nice one, not bad. Did you enjoy reeling that thing in? Yeah, this is pretty fun. Awesome, man. Well, let's put him back, okay? Yeah. There you go, Nathan. Oh. The fish is gone. There you go, good job, man.
Hey Nathan, Nathan, you having fun? I catch fish. You catch fish? Nice. Woo! Whoa. Oh, Virginia, we have the worst firework laws. We have only allowed the wussiest fireworks. <laughs> but they're fun to run them. They're fun. And all the people who will criticize me for not getting cool illegal fireworks from North Carolina are also the same people who would call me an idiot for breaking the law and then putting it on YouTube. All right, see if you can light the light. Oh, dropped one. Smoke, run! <laughs> yeah. Hi, fireworks. fireworks! No way. No way. Let's do some more. Was that fun, guys? Yeah, I want to do more. Well, in case you didn't know this, nighttime is a great time to catch catfish. Not just because that's when I'm not working, but in the summertime, during the heat of the day, the catfish don't really move around a whole bunch. But when the night comes, the sun sets, they become super active and go out and hunting. And they come in close to shore. So if you're a bank fisherman, this is awesome. Okay, this is the time the catfish are coming to you. So that hour or two before sunset and a couple hours after sunset, it's magic. But it'll stay pretty good throughout the entire night into about an hour or two after sunrise. So getting out, camping on the bank side and catching catfish all night long, it's, a, it's just a, a summer tradition, man. You gotta get out and try it. What? Oh, hey, listen, fish, hear that? Okay, first thing we do, we're gonna turn the, the drag down. Crank that drag down because it was really loose, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now get down there and just hold it like this. Wait, wait for it. Okay, and we're gonna go All right, like that. Oh, yeah, he is, he's on. Drag is on pretty good. There he is. You gotta get him towards your dad. Get him in, there he goes. Woo-wee. Oh. Yeah. 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 Woo. Woo. Congratulations on another fabulous catfish. <laughs> All right, let's put it back. Go get your shoes, Betsy. Come on, Nathan, it's bedtime, buddy. Mommy. You guys, bedtime. Come with mommy. Come with mommy. I love you, buddy. Good night. Okay, so I've got the whisker stick and the whisker seeker night LED side by side here so you can kind of see the difference. The uh, whisker seeker LED is much less intrusive, it's uh, sleeker, but it is nowhere near as bright and it's not reusable. Once the it's done, it's kind of done. The whisker stick, you just buy a new watch battery and you're off to the races again. Um, so let me turn off the light here. The whisker stick is just like crazy bright. It's better than a glow stick. That thing's pretty solid. If you want something really clean and sleek, the Whisker Seeker model is a little bit less intrusive on your rod. But if you want something really bright that's reusable, the Whisker Stick's definitely a better go. So for those of you who follow my channel, you may be going, Luke, Luke, where is your Berkeley Glow Stick? I know you bought one. I know you have one. Where is it? Well, I tried to get that thing to turn on and I could not get it to work. I tried fresh batteries and 
everything I could figure out. It worked when I bought it. It sat in my garage for a month. Now it doesn't work. So don't know what's up with that, but that's why I don't have it here. So a lot of money to spend on a glowing rod that doesn't glow. Okay, Raylan, pick it up. Pick up the, the one on the right. Pick it up. Here, pick it up. Yeah. All right, you got this, Raylan. Yeah, it's hard. It's a big fish. It's hard when you're awesome. You keep your keep your rod up as high as you can. There you go. Yeah, like that, Raylin. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah, you're playing them in a little at a time. You got them. Here, Clark. Why don't you go and put the? Oh, she's helping me. He's he's helping you. Okay. Well, as long as you're okay with that. Woo! Got a little feisty there on you, didn't it? There you go. Oh, oh, oh! Sneaky guy. There we go. Nailed it. Yes. Nailed it. Yes. Look at this. The hook wrapped around. The hook is wrapped around his tail. Oh. See, look at this. He's he, the hook is wrapped around his tail. You see that? It's yep. not in his mouth, and here in his mouth is somebody else's hook. An old hook that's been in there for a couple days. So we're gonna get this old hook out. Okay. See, look at there, there's someone's gear. And look at that. He probably was in his mouth, but it just slipped off some point. Hooray! Ah, it's your first catfish! Happy Fourth of July! High five! What do you do? Was that fun? Yep. Oh, yeah, he's soft, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Was that fun? You like to fishing? Yeah. Good. All right, let's put him back in the water. There he goes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something new about catfishing from the bank at night. I want you guys to have a great 4th of July, so to celebrate, I'm giving away this rod and reel combo. This is a Cat Buster from Bass Pro Shop. It's a two-piece medium heavy action rod, great for bank fishing for these channel cats. Also, I've got a Daiwa BRI 3500 bite and run reel. This is an awesome reel with the two drag system. It's got some really high quality sinking mono on here as well. And I'm going to give this away to one of you lucky subscribers. All you need to do is three things. Click subscribe to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. Share this video on YouTube or any other social media platform, fishing forums, blogs, whatever. And three, leave a comment. And one week from the day I post this video, I'm gonna announce the winner and I'm gonna to reply to the winning comment. Good luck and I hope you guys have a great 4th of July.